Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates, he's been calling for more foreign workers in this country for some time. Now Bill Gates says the United States is, uh, is in decline and that a wealthy China, in his words, is a very good thing. Gates told a meeting of the Inter-American Development Bank in Miami, quote, if you care about the human condition, really, then a richer China is better. But Gates then said economic and social advances in the rest of the world would erode U.S. predominance, and he thinks that's a good thing. Businesses looking to hire cheap labor today, celebrating a victory handed, them to, handed to them by the Bush administration, of course. The Department of Homeland Security is now changing the rules to extend visa stays of technology students. The extended stays will allow foreign students a better chance of being hired here at a time when more and more Americans are out of work. It will, as a matter of fact, give them more than two years to find work. Bill Tucker has our report. Microsoft's Bill Gates wasn't shy, making his wishes known to Congress last month. There are a number of steps that Congress and the White House should take to address this problem, including extending the period that foreign students can work here after graduation. He got his wish. The Department of Homeland Security has now announced new rules that allow foreign students graduating with degrees in science, technology, engineering, and math to stay and work for two and a half years after graduation. It's a move that angered Senator Charles Grassley, who calls it corporate America's, quote, latest attempt to get around the H-1B program. Critics of the program argue that such policies undercut American graduates in those fields. The projection is the growth in this industry is of, of about 120,000 jobs per year. And this is in the high tech needing math and science degrees. And we're graduating in excess of 300,000 with bachelor's, master's, and PhDs from U.S. universities. Despite there being an apparent oversupply, corporate America continues to lobby to expand the H-1B program. And one former programmer who now campaigns against the program fears it's only a matter of time before Gates gets his other wish. The caps on the H-1B visa are abolished. We have created a system in Washington, you know, where of, of lobbyists and firmly entrenched politicians who in general are not working in the interest of the American people. There are now two bills in Congress that would more than double the size of the H-1B program. They were introduced the day after Gates testified last month. Now there is a 60-day period of public comment on the new rule extending foreign students' stay. The comments can be submitted at this email address, rfs.regs at dhs.gov. In your subject okay. line, yeah, we'll put it uh, on the You're website. You're going to put it up on the website? You bet. All right, it, it, look at it, because it, you need the subject line in there in lieu of this. Well, I, I noticed it wasn't on the screen, so I thought... Okay, we well, no, that's fair. We should we should help people, if they want to submit these comments, be able to put them in. And I want to make one other point, Lou, here. This optional practical training time, OPT is what it's called, mm -hmm. has no wage provisions, no protection, and no protection for U.S. students. Who, uh, who introduced this legislation right after Gates went in and... Two. Uh, there's Representative Gates out of Arizona and Representative, oh, Representative who? Uh, Giffords. Gifford. Giffords out of Arizona and Lamar Smith out of Texas. Lamar Smith out of Texas did this. Yes. Lamar, you're smarter than this. This is amazing to me. Uh, this is selling out the country. This man is on. I, I mean, what is he thinking about? Uh, it, it, you can't imagine. He knows that seven out of the top ten uh, companies applying for H-1B visas are Indian companies in this country for the specific purpose of bringing in cheap labor to which American corporations can outsource jobs, middle class jobs. Mm -hmm. He knows this. And he sat there with a straight face and testified before Congress. And said, give me more. And they did. Bill Gates, come on down. Let's talk about this. I mean, you really, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to be quite in awe of you like those uh, those uh, slobbering uh, congressmen were that day who uh, sat there and just were so and just in awe of your just your billionaire self. I mean, it's ridiculous. This country has got to start standing up for something. And when we allow a guy who's the third richest in the world, I mean, he's basically ordering up legislation. And, and, and in defiance of every piece of study that has been done in the last year, Lou, that says we are producing enough kids in math, science, and technology degrees that we can... Well, let me be clear. Jobs. I want us to graduate far more students in mathematics, far more students in natural sciences. I'm with anybody on that one. Right. But this business is just ridiculous. 
and for these congressmen to be going along with. Uh, Congressman Giffords, Congressman Smith, please come on down and explain how, how in the world a U.S. congressman can just fall in line at the beck and call of a billionaire uh, from Bellevue. Sort of alliterative, is it? Uh, the information will be on our, uh, our website. We appreciate it. Thank you, Bill.